Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of Can you save the Bridge Warthog on a Mission Blast in Halo 5? So, for those of you who might remember, a couple of days ago actually, or maybe a few days ago, at the time of this video being uploaded, we did a video about what happens if you blow up the Warthog before these Promethean soldiers spawn in and then take over it. Because normally, what happens when you normally play is the soldiers spawn in, they pull the driver and gunner off the Warthog, and you know, presumably they kill them, and then they get in and then drive away themselves. So we did a video where if we blow up the Warthog, we showed you that the soldiers still spawn in and they kind of just hop on and pull off like an invisible <laughs> marine essentially, because the, the gunner is dead, but the driver is still there. So, you know, we're going to see if we can save them this time instead of blowing them up beforehand and seeing what the soldiers do. Because the soldiers, they just hop on and have like a, uh, kind of like a pretend animation for a second and then they get back off and then resume normal AIs. But before we get into um, saving the Warthog, one very interesting thing we noticed while doing this experiment is that when you blow up the Warthog, the driver survives. And we do see that in a previous video where the driver still gets tossed out the destroyed Warthog. But what's even more interesting is that the, the driver is not actually sitting in the Warthog physically. See, if you blow up the Warthog, and then you use explosives to push the blown up Warthog away, the driver is actually just floating there. So, the driver is not actually in the Warthog. Only the gunner is, I believe, because the gunner dies and like gets off. But, the, uh, the driver just stays floating there and can't die, no matter what. And then, of course, if you spawn the soldiers in, then, you know, the driver gets tossed, like, you know, the floating driver gets thrown away in invisible air. Now, to actually save, to see if we can actually save the Warthog, we need to somehow kill the soldiers before they spawn in. But how do we kill them before they spawn in? Well, here's something that's also very interesting. So this is kind of like a video where, like, there's two things you probably never noticed before at this part of the mission. But, uh, the soldiers are actually there already. They're just, I'm not sure if they're, like, just invisible or if they're, like, super tiny somewhere but they are there where, where they spawn in if you can like hit them with like explosives like at the right spot you can actually kill them and and then you know when they die they they appear again and they do the whole death animation and everything but it's a very specific spot you got hit and you know it's best using explosive weapons like the gun goose but um yeah now that both of them are dead let's walk in and see what happens so the soldiers no longer spawn in and the marines they kind of just like have some like haunted possession moment where they get like they levitate up and then toss themselves away but um yeah so unfortunately it does not look like we can save them but killing the soldiers early it does do something because Locke still says like the promethean soldiers can drive or something like that even though like they haven't actually gotten a warthog yet but what's even creepier is that the marine the dead marines here they're actually not dead or security guards and miners or whatever but, you know, if you look closely, like, the eyes were still blinking. Um, and then if you point your gun at them, it still shows green for, like, a friendly. Which is really creepy. Which kind of reminds me of Halo 2, because, like, a lot of dead bodies in Halo 2, like, the eyes still blink, actually, when you melee them. Uh, I guess that carries over into Halo 5 somewhat. Only in this case. But, anyways, if you do, if you do want to try this yourself, this is uh, around where you need to shoot to kill the uh, Promethean soldiers before they spawn in. Uh, you know, you can use the Gun Goose or Rocket Launcher, preferably with the Gun Goose because you have unlimited shots. But you'll know if you kill them, because uh, if you're hitting them, because you'll get like the red hit markers um, near them. So just kind of like aim it like around the general area and then you'll, you'll eventually get them and then they'll, they'll both die and then Locke will say like the soldiers can drive. At that point you've killed both soldiers and then when you drive in, you know, the two, the gunner and the driver still get tossed away. But the Warthog is perfectly intact and is not stolen or driven away by the Promethean soldiers. So, you know, at that point, it's pretty much all yours. So I, I guess in a way, you're only saving the Warthog itself. Um, but, yeah. Now, I mean, I, I guess the driver never actually died, so to speak, because he's still on the ground, still alive, according to your, um, your reticle. And he's obviously still blinking. He's pretending to be dead. He's playing dead, but he's doing a bad job of playing dead because he's still blinking. And, you know, it's, it's just a little weird thing there. Um, but obviously that whole sequence with the soldiers spawning in and pulling the Marines off and everything, it, it's all, like, super, super scripted. And 
that you know they're not actually like killing them so that's why like the bodies land in that position and you know probably stay in that position but they're not actually dead or anything so that's just probably a result of like how heavily scripted that event is but unfortunately we cannot save the warthog on the bridge but we did learn a few interesting things uh while trying to save them and we did at least save you know the warthog itself just not the driver and gunner but yeah so hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like uh leave your thoughts in the comments anything else you want me to check out or look into just let me know and other than that make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all next time bye guys